What's up, guys? Welcome back for this war of mine. I think we're on episode 7 now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and continue off with where we left off, which was not a great place. Uh, I believe Arca is still by herself, so that's gonna be fun. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna probably play through this campaign until either it turns around, we win, or... Uh, let's, let's be real here, the more likely outcome, Arca dies. So, yeah. Let's see how this goes. So yeah, where we left off, she's not doing all all right. Probably in a bad, bad place. She is bleeding. Oh yeah, she's like super lethally wounded. This might be the end unless someone gets bandages. Yep. Uh, thankfully we do have bandages. So yeah, please uh, do that now, Arika. Thank you. Yes. All right, and then yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so there was a little bit of a bloodbath last game. Bloody murders, I can't stand it any longer. You mean you? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. You're gonna go ahead and eat. Eat your, uh, your canned food. You're gonna go ahead and, uh, probably just go to sleep. Yeah, just, just go to sleep, and then we'll end the day. I don't even care if someone visits. You're gonna sleep. Because, my goodness, you're not in a great place. But, hey, I wish I could say it's been worse, but... Uh, yeah. I don't know if I could say that this time. I don't know how long it's gonna take for her to sleep, to recover. We'll see, though. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Pain's unbearable. Just rest, please. Thank you. And then we're just gonna go ahead and end the day. And she's still lethally wounded, so you know what? Yeah, she, well, she has to just sleep. Alright, we'll see how long this will continue. Hopefully, yeah, we don't get slightly sick. Not good. Still recovering from it, though, but... I could have her take some medicine real quick before uh, before I just basically put her back to sleep. Oh man! Before we do anything, we need to get her taken care of. Maybe even build a heater. Do we even have enough supplies for that? Ah, no. We definitely don't have enough to build a heater because it's 42 degrees right now Fahrenheit, which is less than optimal, if I'm being honest. Okay, take your medicine, go back to sleep. All this, I can't take it anymore. Oh, Arga. Alright, yeah, you can just go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, just sleep. Just go to sleep. We'll see how she's doing after the next day. Did the bandage only last one day? I wonder if it only goes down like one rank in terms of the wounding. I don't know. Someone's at the door. That's nice. Uh, Arga needs to sleep. I can't. I give, don't. Don't give up, Arga. You're being. You're being a baby. Cut that out. Again, sleep. Just two days, just basically sleeping. She's bleeding and she won't make it. Oh, jeez. Seriously. You're still lethally wounded. Bio. I made it all the way from Gravia to Pogoran. Or Pogorin, and for what? More shelling, more bloodshed, and maybe it would have been better if I had died there and then. You heard what the Grans, uh, Grozny did in Gravia. Hmm. I don't think I did hear that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of chill here for a second. I probably should have hit up that trader to see if he maybe had some bandages. I don't even know if skipping the day even affects your time as far as uh, being lethally wounded and all that. I don't even know if she can recover from being lethally wounded. Either way, we'll see. We'll see. I'm liking all the support for the series. It's 35 degrees. I'm like, yeah, but I'm liking the support for the series so far. You guys are really enjoying this, and I'm enjoying playing the game. So, yeah. Thanks for uh, watching. 
and so on and so forth. But, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and continue with this. I don't know how many episodes I'm going to be putting out today. We'll see. Depends on how this playthrough even goes. Okay, I don't think anybody's going to show up for trading today. So, we'll probably... I'm surprised she's still just hungry. And not, like, super hungry. Maybe it's because she hasn't really been doing anything? Hungry, lethally wounded, still depressed. Did she die? I think she just died. <laughs> it's getting very cold. Yeah, I think she just died. She just made a noise. Oh, no! And we got raided. And the game's over. Damn! <laughs> you didn't make it! We made it to day 25, and she totally died. I guess I should have traded for more bandages. That's fine. That is fine. Let's all be, let's all be real here. We kind of saw that coming. What what is the restart, Rockman? You're gonna be so happy. You're gonna be so happy. Felt unsafe and asked for help with boarding the windows. We did that. Pavel died day three. Oh god. I love the recap of uh, your worst moments. Difficult choice. Rob, a defenseless elderly couple. Yeah, yeah. It's twelve days in. We're horrible, horrible people. It's okay. We robbed the hospital. Oh man, we are just. Bad people. Bad people. Bruno died. Oh my god. It's it's just a, a recap of all the horrible, horrible things. So that is so morbid. Uh, we lost Katya. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Not too better. Don't fuck up. Thanks. Thanks, Rockman. Fight for survival. We encountered several bandits and managed or bandits and managed to kill them. Damn straight. I think for my next playthrough, what I'm going to end up doing is going to that warehouse when it's available and die of severe wounds, yeah. And um, I'll try and kill those bandits straight up. There's a lot of good stuff there, along with weapons and everything. That could help with a long-term game. Sadly, Pavel died. Will his family come back to Pulgarin to visit his grave one day, or would it be too painful and a reminder of what they had gone through? Do the dead even care? Despite his valiant struggle, Bruno didn't make it through the war. The fate of his friend he was worried about remains unknown. Katya, unable to cope with what had transpired, Katya broke down completely. She was found dead, her hands still clutching her war diary. Her parents never learned about her fate. Tough girl she was, Arika died. Harsh reality of living in a ghetto could not come uh, compared to the horrors of war. What would have become of her life if she'd survived? We will never know. Damn straight. Alright, well I guess I'll make a cut there for an incredibly short episode. And um, then we'll pick up with the uh, the new game. But uh, yeah, if you uh, liked that uh, first uh, attempt at my series, let me know and uh, look forward to more. Uh, yeah, catch you guys later.